Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Just I'm playing Dark Souls 3 with the Weapon Breakers. Last episode we did ourselves uh, Yorma Giant, uh, I think like the entirety of Yorma Dungeon. And also uh, the Dancer of the Boreal Valley. And today we're going to go and deal with the rest. <laughs> well, with Lofty Castle, like a part of Lofty Castle and some more. Also, I want to see what Yorm's a great machete can be. Wait, what's the weight of this thing? A weight of 19. Wow. And the skill is Warcry. Let me see though. Because I don't think it's m a lot different from what I already had. Also, it uses more stamina, I think. Well, it's either that or maybe it's because I'm overweight. That could also be the case. Right. Hello. Let's see though, because... Instantaneously... Like, instantly goes to a B scaling. Hmm. I think I'll wait with that for now. The thing is, I like I have a, I have a weapon in mind that I really want to use, which also requires uh, Titanite scales, and I'm gonna hold on to my Titanite scales for that one. I think. Ooh, I can finally go and upgrade this weapon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> More damage, oh yeah. I'm always a fan of that. Also, off camera, I decided to go, take the liberty of looking at what the fuck is happening. And apparently my hard drive is constantly going at 100%. I have no idea why. But the hard drive that my game... Uh, like, I think it's on my OS hard drive. And yeah, that one's just constantly being used. Constantly 100% and that is what is happening right now. That is why loading takes such a ridiculous long time. A ridiculously long time. Like, if I'm going to have a lot more situations where loading is going to take a metric crap load of time, I'm just going to go and... Well, the problem is I don't know what to do at that point. Because I can go and reinstall my game on another freaking hard drive, but that would be... That would be such a pain in the ass to do. I do not want to do it if I don't absolutely have to. I guess we'll see. Usually it doesn't stay this bad, though. God damn, that's a lot of damage. Kind of what I expected, though. That's gonna hurt. Well, not really, because it didn't hit me. <laughs> He's like, yes, let me go and block. God damn you. That's half my health freaking gone. Holy crap. Kind of what I expected in a certain way. Especially with my low defense right now. Or my low absorption. I don't think so, buddy. Oi, mate. Get over here. Hey, I'm walking over here. Just going to get rid of that shield. Well, I would say that. I actually did do that. Well, I, I got rid of the shield, I just didn't repost. <laughs> or I can absolute dang this. Going up. Watch that Lufflick Knight run in circles. Well, walk in circles. Alright then. Is he gonna heal him? He's gonna try to do that in any case. But he's too late. Look at the buffs, like, I'm sorry, but the buff that these guys are using is insane. If only you could get that kind of buff as, as a miracle user. Yourself, but no. Nope. The buffs you get are not as good. And sure as hell don't last as long. So, yep. Yeah. <laughs> get fucked, Dark Souls players. Fun is not allowed. Well, it's more like the game designers don't want you to become overpowered. Really. He's <laughs> like, my shield! You wanna stand over here for a moment? There we go. I still absolutely love one-shotting enemies. It is so much fun! Yeah. 
You did not lose your guard from that. Freaking Knight... By the way, a Knight Slayer ring to get away the Great Axe. And a guy's shield did not get broken. That's insane. And two adding my weapon, too. Fucking insane. I call shenanigans. Or hacks. Or both. Oh, I did not expect I was gonna be able to... Okay then, sure, I'm not complaining. Okay, let's get that out of here. Over half of my health gone. Interesting maneuver. Lark Tight Knight. I was thinking about something at a certain point. Let me go and grab this while I'm at it. I'm not gonna use it, but meh. Might as well grab. I was thinking about using the Sacred Bloom Shield. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Blocks 50%. <laughs> Doesn't really matter too much. I, I just want it for aesthetic reasons, really. Not particularly for actual blocking. I can still block with it, though. I'm just gonna take half of the damage. I don't think I'm gonna be blocking that much with this weapon anyway, so... Go and smash you guys. Hello, fellow great axe user. There we go. Lark Titanite. Where is this dude? Oh, hello. Well, that makes it easy for me. <laughs> well, I would say that. If I actually managed to hit with that attack. God damn it. Oh, you know that? My god. Once again, more than half of my health gone in a single attack. That's interesting. Toy to night chunk. And a large soul of a very warrior. Cool, cool. Oh yeah, I'm also gonna go and grab the the essence increasing items. Well, just the one unknown bone shard that's over here. Then there's gonna be another rest of shard in the the consumed king's garden, and then the other ones are in the in the grand archives, in and around the grand archives. I think I should normally be able to one-shot this dude with this weapon before he can transform into the Abyss thing. Or its official name, the Puss of Man. And I don't really think I need anything else. I'm gonna go back. And the other, like, there's a Titanite Lizard back there. Wait, not sure if there's... Hmm, might have missed another chunk that way. I don't remember. And I also don't care. <laughs> Not enough in any case. Let me go and level up again, so I can get more freaking stamina. Because that is what I need. Alright. Reinforce this weapon, my boy. <laughs> oh yeah. I'm a fan of this. Let me go and take a look. So, raw damage is... 486 513 and 565 <laughs> that's a lot of damage okay let's go back over to this one <sighs> I'm so interested in Nintendo Direct so interested in that I cannot wait. I cannot wait. Also, I don't really like the way that the Sacred Bloom Shield looks. Too much. Um, the thing is, I just don't like shields in general in her. I've noticed. Well, I think if that's going to be the case, I'm just going to go and wear a Shield of Want or something. Something with a lot of stability so I can block better. Yeah, sure. Actually, I like this one. A sizable amount, so let's go. 
let's do it like this. Get a load of this. That is so whatever way they want here. Hello, friend. Let me block with my shield. Really? Roll. Ow. Ah, yes. Buff. Buff yourself. Oh, buff yourself. It's quite a pain in the ass for me if you buff yourself. Cathedral Knight armor. Nice. Uses to me a bit. Nice. It is still a rare drop, so... I can see in King's Garden. Within the rest of shard. Oh yeah, it's just... Still love saying that. Alright. Let me just go and <laughs> walk around these dudes. Okay, let's fuck him. God damn you. Just like a little bit too early. That's all it takes. Can I smash it to the ground? No, but I can kill you. Both of which work for me. Let me just go and run this way. How many things do I have right now? Two. I can get another two up there and then another one. Uh, somewhere else. And I can technically get another one if I use um, a black firebomb at the place. You know what I mean. You know which place I mean. The place. At the crows, there we go. At least I think there are two more of you. Keep forgetting how many of them there are in this place. There you go. I have 11 Estus, that should be fine actually. We're dealing with a Sayeros. Depending on how much I'm gonna get right by the Castile Knight. It's only one over here, okay, that changes things. Alright, so it needs, uh, I would need another two of those, so. Alright, I guess I'll wait with it then. And a tight night scale. Very useful indeed. I wonder if I'm gonna be able to stun a Saros. <laughs> I probably, like, I should be able to do it as long as I hit him in the face. I should be able to stun him with relative ease. At least in the second phase, because I don't think you can do it in the first phase. <laughs> because of the fact that they stand up straight in the first phase. Fuck. Can you get Titanite Knight Trunks in... in their place? The... I don't think that you can get Titanite Knight Trunks in, uh, in the untended graves. Oh, okay. This is gonna be shitty. There we go. Say hello, later, shit lords. Okay. Let me just go and uh, do this for a moment. He's like, what the fuck? Get over here, buddy. Why can I not? I swear to God. I'm rolling. I've noticed that, like, <laughs> for some kind of reason, I cannot backstab enemies. Like, it takes a long time for my backstab to actually hit. And that is really screwing me over. Screwing me over. All right, buddy. Buddy, old pal. Oh, man. What? What range? I'm gonna heal. Because... That's a pretty bad situation. Okay, thank you. I'm just gonna do a normal attack on you. I'm not gonna do a charge attack. You're a little bit too dangerous for that. Ooh. There we go. And then we get the magic stone plate ring. Ah, 
monstrosity. More Glock. Ah, I see you're a man of culture as well with a great axe. Time for behind and then time for behind. Ah, sadness. Just thought I'd read the messages. Not like message messages. I like doing that from time to time. Let's once again try to fight him without locking on, maybe. At least in the first phase, I think that's a pretty good idea. Maybe not so much in the second phase, but... <laughs> Trying to skip the text while also fighting the boss. Ah! I was hoping I'd be able to hit him again. I rolled too early. And now I didn't even have time to roll. God damn it. Come on. It's because I'm trying to hit him in the face, by the way. Otherwise, I would just get behind him and not get hit by him. Or at least not as much. Can I cut off your tail? <laughs> That'd be pretty then cool. Oh no. Ah! I missed. I think I'm gonna heal up. Because... I'm scared of this man's freaking dodges. Or, sorry, dash attacks. Yeah. Point just thought that I was gonna do that. And... Ah, yep. Come on. No. Hit him in the face. Whilst you can. Turn around, please. God damn it. Yes. Come on. Yes. See you later. And then it just... <laughs> And then it just pops out of existence. As all great bosses should. You know what? The video is only 18 minutes long. <sighs> I think I'm gonna go and... Uh... Yeah, I think I'm gonna go and do a Gunder. Because what in the hell not? Nah. Lowering the episode... Uh, the episode amount is always a good idea for me. Okay. Hmm? I could put all three of these in my HP and get a thousand. Which is usually what I want. Yeah, sure. Let's go and do that. Farewell, Ashen, mate. Farewell, Ashen, mate. <laughs> it's definitely the best you can do. Then shall we begin? <laughs> I love those stupid things. The same with all like the art. Oh, it's what? That Andre says. I need two more of those here. Well, I guess I'll have to wait with uh, upgrading this one to level 10 then. Alright. To Gundur we go. I seem to remember when I was playing with Great Axel before that Gundir was a pain in the arse. I'm not sure how it's gonna go, but I do know that like Gundir is feeling fucking fast. So using heavy weapons is just... It's just gonna make your life more difficult against Gundir, I feel. There's like certain bosses that are just like a lot more difficult when you have sword weapons. While other ones are... Well, I would say in general, boss battles are more difficult with heavy weapons. Because of the fact they have to look for a moment to hit the enemy. But some of them are like a lot more difficult and some of them are just like meh. A little bit more difficult. <laughs> if that makes sense. I guess I can technically parry a uh, gun there, so... I'm gonna keep that in mind, though. 
that I can do that. There we go. The Untended Graves. One violet. Alright, let's go and deal some more Grave Wardens. Hey. <laughs> With my massive weapon. Being able to stun lock him into oblivion. Doesn't stop him from fasting. Uh, from fasting? Yeah, sure. <laughs> from attacking pretty dang fast. That is a thing that I cannot really change. Oi. Get over here. Yeah, I'm walking over here. Let me go and do it. Release the heavy attack a little bit earlier. Nice. I was quite surprised that I managed to hit her. There you go. Dark Titanite. Kill the Dark Arenoise. Oh, managed to get hit. He got me at the last possible moment. Alright, it's time for... Uh, the double big old tight net lizards. Get over here, buddy. Right. Time to start smashing your face in. Well, something of the sort. I'm wondering, is there any ring that I want to get rid of? Nah, not really. I was thinking about maybe wearing the Hornet ring, but it's not going to be worth it. Well, it's probably going to be worth it in a certain way, but... I have other rings that I like a little bit more, so... I don't really think I'm going to be equipping it. And one more. There we go. I'm going to casually walk up to him. And fuck up, because I casually walked up to him instead of running. Well, you know what? I guess I learned that the... Uh... Guess I learned that I need to go and run towards him. Like, there's a reason why I do the things that I... <laughs> That's one thing that I always kind of like about... Like, about the way that I go through Dark Souls. Like, if I don't do... Like, I do certain things. And after a while, I don't know why I do certain things. And then I fuck something up or whatever. And then I'm like, oh, that's why I do that thing. <laughs> also, I have enough uh, tight night chunks to be able to... Further upgrade to this weapon. Interesting. I also have 60... I also have 56,000 souls. That's a lot. I did go back after... After fighting What's-His-Face, did it? Right? I don't remember. I'm gonna kill this guy. And then start attacking you. So that you cannot cast any spells. And you're dead. <laughs> wow. Well. That was easy. Let's not get too cocky now, though. Gundry is still happening. And these guys can also still fuck me up. If I am not careful. I'm missing. Quite surprised that he didn't notice me earlier. There we go. I'm gonna kill this guy. God damn it, I was hoping to be able to roll past them. <laughs> but no, I fucked it up. And I paid for it with some of my health. Alright, let me go and equip my uh, parry shield so I can parry whenever I feel like it. And it's time for g g g g g g g Hello, friends. I'm very interested in how you're gonna go, buddy. Oh, yeah. There you get to see one of the issues that I'm gonna have. I still really like the fact that there's boss in the game though. The fact that there's just like a, a true gun there. I really like that. Damn it. Roll. Okay. Get up. Roll. And roll. Oh boy, that's gonna hit me. Jesus Christ. The combo meister is showing what he can do. I also don't remember which attacks I can parry from it.
Okay. I know that the charge attack can be parried. I just didn't have enough time to do it. Heal up, heal up, heal up. Roll because he's gonna do that. Oh boy. God damn it. Okay, nice. That's gonna hurt. No? Okay, nice. Hmm. I was, um. I was thinking about parrying and then I stopped. And I was like, mm, yep. Let me go into my open again. Because I don't think I'm gonna be parrying unless if he uses this, uh. Here's a one move. Oh boy. That was a bad roll. And that was just fucked up. That was just straight up bad. Alright. I don't care. I can deal with that. Ah, what the? <laughs> I did not expect that to be the thing that was gonna happen. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna avoid it now. Fuck it. I missed him. But he also missed me. Up, and up. And you're done. Well, I guess I didn't manage to parry him, but... Eh. I kinda need to have my parry shield out at that point. If I want to be able to do it. So if I don't have my parry shield uh, equipped at that point, I'm not going to be able to... Well, if I'm fast enough, I might be able to do it. That's the thing I did in the last playthrough. I was fast enough to be able to switch out of two-handed. Or no, maybe not, no, 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 I think I rolled and then pressed the parry button at the perfect timing. <laughs> it was pure luck, I think. Right. Or mainly luck, let's say it like that. Farewell, Ashen One. Made a flame. Farewell, Ashen One. Made a flame. Made a flame, indeed. Hello, friends. Let's go and upgrade this weapon. And bam, maximum level. <laughs> so, with this weapon at maximum level, I now do a grand total of 588 damage. And if I buff it... I do 647 damage. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot of damage. <laughs> nice. You'd love to see it. At least I love to see it, in any case. Right, let's go and grab the... My unlimited bone. My unlimited bone, yes. No, my unlimited open bone. And then... Yeah, then it's time for Rothy Castle. Which I will do in the next episode, of course. With a plus 10 weapon, though. With a plus, with a plus 10 weapon like this. In Hyrule, Ca uh, Hyrule Castle? Yeah, sure. <laughs> no. In uh, Lothric Gas, it's gonna be fucking amazing. Hmm, I also kinda need to go and farm for the Black Knight Red Axe there. I thought for a moment that I needed to eat my words, but no. I was not that lucky. Hmm, I thought I heard a Black Knight running my way, I was like, oh no. Let me go and casually walk behind you and stab me in the back. Well, there we go. Didn't get the drop. Am I gonna grind it off camera? I think I will. I can do it right now. Like, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna have more damage. And, well, and even still, like, it doesn't matter too much. I need to get it eventually. Might as well get it now. Alright, people. That's gonna be it. Hope you enjoyed this episode of just... I was playing Dark Souls 3 at the weapon plates. And next episode, we're gonna go and deal with... Oh well, yeah, Lofty Castle. By that point, I will also have the Black Knight Great Axe, and I can show off that weapon too. Goodbye.